Welcome back everybody. Got my acoustic again. Oh yeah, we're going to be looking at Wishlist this time. I know it's played on an electric, but I'm going to show you Eddie's parts on an acoustic because it sounds pretty lovely like this. Um, not much to say, let's just get on with it, shall we? No uh, weird tunings, standard tuning, um, and you're basically only going to be playing like an F, a C, a G, uh, I think this might actually be three chords. So a good one if you are uh, a beginner. Um, but also a fun one if you're not a beginner. Because um, there's lots of dynamics in this. Okay, let's start off with the first riff. Very similar to another tune they do, which Eddie also wrote. Eddie's pretty good at those, isn't he? You know, just F, C stuff, uh, and he is, he's a happy, happy camper. So, what you're going to play is a C chord, and you're going to take your second finger off the D string, so it alternates from being on the second fret on the D string. And then you are going to add your little finger onto the third fret. And then back down again. So that's the, the melody that you're hearing. Um, and he's just banking that around a C chord. Okay, which sounds a little bit like a Coldplay version, perhaps. Um, okay, so you're going to be muting the strings as well. So you're going to be needing the palm of your hand rested against the strings, so you get this sort of... And whilst I've tabbed out the full chord, it looks like it would be played... It's not played like that. But I put the full chord in there, um, because there, it's up to you how you do the nuances. Um, and I would like that open for your interpretation. Not because I'm too lazy to write it all out. So what you probably want to do is, uh, you probably just want to use the first three strings for most of this. But you're going to be hitting the B string as well. So. And there are accents in here as well, so it's not just... Not like that, unfortunately. There is some subtlety. So, it's usually... Okay, and watch out for the dynamics in the second part, because whilst you play... fairly kind of linear. Um, the next part is, so you want to let some of those ring out like, like that. Um, okay, pretty straightforward. Um, then, yeah, then you're into the verse, so that, that's more of the same. There is a little fill in there, which is just a rundown, so you're just arpeggiating from the E down. But it fits in, I think, like this. And then you carry on playing the riff. Um, so by all means, chuck that in there if you want. Um, and then we go to the chorus. The chorus is pretty straightforward. It's just an F to a C. Back to an F to a C. Same again. Then you go to a G. And then an F. Okay? So if you want to play that really basic, you can just play the chords. Um, 
there's a little fill in there as well if you want to add that. I'm going to do a little um, grace note hammer on from the second fret on the D string to the third fret. Okay, like this. And then back into the F. Um, when you come down to the last chord, you note know that I hammer on from the uh, the opening string like that. But you're playing the um, the rest of the F chord. So you start on the F. And I think an upstroke is probably warranted there. And then back into that that um, soft part of the verse. Um, but Eddie arpeggiates the chords here, so um, it goes, there's a basic pattern which goes So that chorus part, again, don't worry too much about the picking, but you basically go... Etc. So you get the idea. Um, and what's next? They sometimes hang on this F for a little bit longer. for the solo. Um, so that is, I think, three of them. And then you do this. And then the solo comes in, which is um, uh, G, F to C. Okay, so you can do some bits like that in there as well. All I did there was, um, while I was strumming, I did a little, a little rundown like that. Um, but the rhythm for that is, my hand feels like it's just doing this. But these fingers are dictating the rhythm a little bit because I'm muting the strings after the second time. Etc. But hopefully you get that. I think. Okay, so if you want to do it really ultra slow, I'll try and do it the same way I did it before. I promise. Okay, so that's as slow as I can do it. Hopefully that makes sense. No? Yeah, it does. It does. Okay. Next part is... Um, no, that's it. After the solo, it just goes back into the... Uh, and then... Well, I think it fades out on that. It does fade out on that. Because I remember when we played this in the band, we didn't know how to finish it. So, um, yeah. If you want to know how we finish it, you need to come to one of our gigs, and then you will see. Hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, uh, this has been a quick and easy one, hopefully. And I will see you on another video very soon. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Bye.